A hate guide, many haters think they're loving people. Chapter 1. Hate between the sexes. Hate is a part of the human condition. Hitler loved Eva Braun. Every hater loves some people or animals so they think they're loving. It's easy to compartmentalize hate. Almost everybody does it. I hear Democrats and Republicans hating each other every single day in the media but every last one of them thinks they're a loving person. Hate is everywhere. It's worse than ever with trolls on the internet. I get trolled for everything with my simple articles that I think are objective, just me trying to state some facts. Not good enough for the haters. I've never answered a troll. Don't get sucked into their hate. Why do people hate other people, people they don't even know and have no chance of ever being in a relationship with because they have too much hate in them? Men who hate women are called misogynists. Feminists who hate men are called misandrists. Some people hate everybody. They're called misanthropes. I personally believe that all hate comes from pain, generally the pain of the unfulfilled life. Maybe you were born into a low-class family on the poor side of town such that you envied the rich kids and didn't get the opportunities to live out your true potential, to get to do what you really wanted to so now because you're a frustrated loser working a mediocre dead-end job which is so far away from your perception of the life you want to live, you're angry all the time and hate is simply a byproduct to help you deal with it. It could be envy. You see all these successful looking people on TV with celebrities flaunting their wealth and the seemingly easy paychecks of 20 million or so dollars per film with their fake smiles as they go to their movie premieres and you're a hard driving engineer working your ass off for barely 40 grand a year so you feel envious and angry because you're working every day destroying yourself out in the workforce just to get by while all these other people seem to be having a great old frivolous time on. Easy Street the psychobablists say that hate comes from your early childhood experience. You were brought up semi-isolated without much social contact with people, maybe your parents abused you, maybe you were weird and the other kids teased you, maybe you were poor so you felt self-conscious when you wore your ill-fitting charity clothes to school, maybe you were fat or a minority. It could be a lot of things with the common thread being that you're not doing what you really want in life nor have all the money you want therefore you have an unfulfilled soul while you work a job you hate, could be in a marriage you don't like, stuck in traffic every day for an hour then to top it off, they show all these easy breezy cool images on TV with all these people acting frivolous so you get more jealous and use hate to offset some of the frustration and anger you feel in your own life in order to deal with it and make your life go easier. All those groups out there united by hate that may hate gays, minorities, the opposite gender, etc., are people who really hate themselves because they're losers in the real world who didn't become successful according to the standard they wanted so they feel bad inside and channel some of this anger onto hating others. A big cause of hate in general is a feeling of betrayal, of being used by someone. If you've been used by a guy or girl once in a relationship, that's fine but if you've been used by at least three different people in supposed love relationships and were betrayed deeply at least once, it's very easy to get jaded and generalize it to all of that gender. You may not hate all guys or girls but at least get gun shy. I used to jog then as I got older, I walked my dog. I still remember two people on the street that looked at me, strangers, with hate in their eyes. The first guy was an older bald-headed guy down by the Armdale roundabout in Halifax. He was looking out at the arm. He gave me a hateful glare. I thought what was that all about? I thought he must have just got out of jail or something. I was walking my dog up by the Forum on Windsor Street in Halifax and a light-skinned black guy comes walking down the other way. I could sense some kind of hurt evil rage in that guy. The look of hate is real. I got it a few times in my life. Some people use it as a tool of manipulation. I remember some dumpy stranger girl giving me a look of hate. I thought who does she think she is to give me a disapproving look. I listened to those radio plays at unshackled.org or on YouTube at unshackled radio stories. I realized how many kids grew up with hateful parents who tried to control them with looks of hate. Hate is alive and well on planet Earth. When I realize somebody hates me, I know they're the dipstick not me. 
Chicks hating men. I saw Andrea Dworkin who is now dead give a speech once. Talk about someone who hated men. It just wasn't that she was a lesbian. She thought heterosexual intercourse was abuse, when a man sticks his penis into a woman and humps like crazy for a minute. She thought it was man's need to dominate a woman. How the hell was she born if people couldn't do this? I personally feel that most young women under 25 and some older ones live in a fantasy land of cosmetic commercials and dreamy images of the rescuing Prince Charming who's gonna adore them and do everything for them where they think they're way worth it, a higher standard than most guys actually are. They think most guys are lusting over them particularly when they're out in public because they alone are the beautiful one in the crowd then when reality hits and they realize there isn't no Prince Charming out there only generic guys, they start to look at men as a bunch of low-level scumbag nerds while men are looking at them thinking to themselves, who does that dumb broad think she is with her nose stuck up in the air wearing that stupid dress thinking she's some glamour queen. Feminists in general are fat, masculine, or otherwise ugly girls who don't come close to matching the standard of feminine beauty as defined by the culture so they deal with it by developing a self-protective mode of identifying with other girls like themselves through which they get strength and pick on their common scapegoat, men as I found when I took a women's studies course in college and found it to be run by several men-hating feminists. A lot of girls are frustrated because they live in a man's world geared for men and have to play second fiddle all the way back to grade school when they were chastised for appearing to be smarter than boys and not matching up to the feminine ideal of beauty as they were brainwashed into acting nurturing, domesticated, and dumb in school to appease the cultural ideal. In the workforce, women often get paid less for the same work, have less power positions, get promoted lay, etc. Some feminists hate men because they get everything while women traditionally get almost nothing like in school where all the sports gear goes to the guys while the equipment for girls sports is usually inferior and oftentimes there aren't even sports for girls in some schools while there's a whole plethora for the guys. I saw the movie and heard the audiobook Molly's Game. Her father was a psychologist in real life. A good part of the book near the end was her psych babble therapy where she realized she hated being dominated by men all her life which is supposedly why she started this high stakes poker game, to control men, to get them back. Guys hating or at least ignoring women won. The question for babe haters among us are these girls turning themselves into temporary sex objects because they've let their identity be consumed by the male gaze or are they doing it for themselves? I can't help thinking this issue is still with us, because the boys, in comparison, don't dress or act like sex objects. Tom Marcus, Mixmig. Guys hating girls seems to be a bit more convoluted than the simple case of girls hating guys because they're second class citizens in a man's world. With guys, it could be something like a bitch a mother or bitch a sisters or it could be the general hate for all of society because they're frustrated that they're not getting to be the dashing type football star, college grad, successful heroic superstars they wanna be which they blame on things beyond their control like poverty but the truth is probably that they're lazy, weak, uninspired souls to start out with who want the easy way out and a part of dealing with this depression and anger at not being who they really are is to hate others but back to the specific question of why some men hate women. We got them cows, men going their own way, the incels, the involuntary celibates and the red and black pilled guys, all guys who say I won't pursue a relationship with a woman. I'm happy being myself for whatever reason. Men could hate women because they were rejected and teased by them as they went through school. If a guy asks several different girls out on a date and they reject him or belittle him, it's very easy to start hating them all. If you're a nerd or otherwise scummy type of guy and girls sneer at you, clutch their purses tighter or look away when they come across your path, it's very easy for an insecure guy to start hating all women. Or maybe you couldn't perform sexually with a few girls, they snickered at you and put you down so now you hate them all. It could be kind of religious like some guys who see all women as evil temptresses who pollute and corrupt men. It could be that these guys feel threatened by girls. Whenever one of these guys is in the company of a girl, he gets nervous, feels weak because she has some kind of power over him by being of the opposite sex so it's a mixture of his sexual fantasies, 
his self-consciousness around girls and his shame all combine to make him think girls are bitches that cramp his style. On a more pragmatic level, lots of guys who were jilted by girls, cleaned out in divorce court or used for material perks then dropped, start developing a hate on for all women. A friend of mine who got charged for domestic violence and got in lots of trouble with his common law wife now speaks very lowly of all women calling them all sluts and cunts who just want to use guys. He says that all girls will cheat on guys if they get the chance. Some guys are looking for a pure nice virginal type girl yet all they come across are the typical brainwashed airhead over made up superficial type girls and slash or gold diggers so they eventually reject all capitalist girls as cheap phonies and go to other countries looking for a wife. Some guys are straight out chauvinists, a girl's place is in the home as man's servant and that's it, no equality what's over. Some guys merely want to use girls as sex objects and have no emotional personal interest in them as people. Just like American GIs reduced the NVA, North Vietnamese Army, down into the subhuman term gooks during the Vietnam War, when a man reduces a woman into a sex object, he has reduced her to less than human so he can do whatever he wants sexually and not feel like he might be demeaning her with his lusty, depraved sex acts. Women have power over men by virtue of their sexuality. Any attractive woman can seduce just about any guy she wants like Delilah destroying the powerful Samson but the more common ailment is the girl who abuses her sexual power as a cock teaser or gold digger to lead a guy on, suck him in with her softness and her sob stories, he falls for it, helps her out then when she gets the goods, she doesn't deliver on the lovey-dovey, sex part, he feels used and starts hating women in general. Guys hating or at least ignoring women too. A lot of guys are one-dimensional macho the way they were brought up which means they can't relate to girls in an emotional gentle way so because they can't do this, they feel alienated and start to hate girls because they can't control the situation. Men like to imagine themselves as heroic adventurous studs so if they aren't like this in real life, they hate themselves and have inferiority complexes which may be used to hate women to give themselves some power and dominance in their lives. They feel inadequate, feel that the woman is a threat to their masculine sense of themselves so they will use girls as scapegoats for all the anger they feel inside at not being manly men the way they really want to be. Women are generally busybody gossipers who go around with their women's intuition figuring everything out then talking like a bunch of squaking pigeons which turns a lot of guys off. Another one is the girl who thinks she's high and mighty, that all guys are lusting over her so she goes around with a snotty attitude, stringing guys along to feed her ego then not delivering on the sexual advances or acting like she's too high and out of the league of this guy she's leading along. Girls like to act helpless and weak to get guys to do their bidding then after the a while the guy senses her manipulation of him, feels used and turns off. A lot of guys simply can't have an intelligent meaningful conversation with a girl because they're achievement oriented and functional while girls are more emotional and nurturing hence there's no meeting of the minds, the guy feels alienated, less than his ideal image of himself as a man and starts blaming all girls for his lack of social success. Some guys would rather be slobs and live in peace alone but the culture and the real world force them to interact with girls which they don't really like to do so they feel intimidated and symbolically castrated when in the presence of women. Men simply want to stay macho and don't want to act like gentle sissies around girls even though the culture says to treat all women with respect and kid gloves. In the workforce, Many women are invading territories that were once the exclusive domain of men so a lot of guys feel intimidated by all these girls competing for jobs many of whom are more confident and qualified than the guys. A lot of guys have chauvinistic fathers who pass their sexist attitudes onto their sons. A lot of fathers are weak people controlled by the wife which the son sees and grows to despise. A lot of guys simply hate an abusive, rejecting, negative mother. Guys are brought up to be heroic, successful, and adventurous. Girls just get in the way of these quests. Some guys are dominated by strong mothers as kids so on a subconscious level, they will never allow any other women to ever get control over them again. All the above statements are possible reasons why men might hate girls or subconsciously harbor resentment against them. If your guy can't get too close to you without getting all flustered emotionally, if he tries to control you, puts you down, 
calls you demeaning names like cunt, slut, ho, bitch, whore, etc., beats you, punishes you by withholding money, etc., wants you to sacrifice everything for him, is extremely jealous of any attention other guys give you, is angry at life in general, is a loser in the real world with just a functional average job, is quite fat or skinny, blames you for everything or tries to make you feel miserable and guilty somehow, watch out, you're probably with a guy who doesn't love you and could possibly have a serious hate on for all women under all of his pro-social, pleasant armor. It all comes down to feelings of inferiority because you're less than the man you really want to be so you compensate by hating your girlfriend slash wife, trying to control, belittle, and abuse her in order to give you some control in your pathetic life and bring yourself up a notch in how you feel for the moment. That's the basic gist of it. I don't want to get too deep here except to say that angry, negative, frustrated guys not doing so hot in the real world are generally lousy lovers and could be more destructive towards you than their own self-destructive tendencies to bring you down along with them. The best advice I can give is to stay clear of these guys but if you're involved with someone like that now, generally a redneck nerdy type guy working a low to middle class job somewhere but it could be any guy anywhere simply because all guys have testosterone energy inside which can make them unpredictable manic depressive time bombs so beware. They say that girls get PMS but guys have a lot of masculine testosterone angst within themselves such that they feel as though they have to prove themselves in the achievement arena of competition that all men live under to some extent in a capitalist world and this causes a lot of stress which results in a lot of loser, jerky, negative guys so if you sense that all is not right with any guy you might be with, don't stick around and hope he will change. He won't. Get out and find a more stable easygoing guy. Some men are master manipulators. They act all charming to get the girl then once they got her, they try to make her dependent on him and having achieved that, they technically own her so they start belittling her for their own entertainment while she becomes a nervous wreck. If this is you, get the strength to get strong and get out. The cycle usually works the same as for domestic violence. The guy abuses the girl in some way, apologizes, tells her he loves her and will never do it again until the next time. This is a classic syndrome and a very common application of wife and girlfriend abuse. Watch for it. If it's you, realize he's a loser and leave. Guys like this rarely change. They're great charmers but horrible human beings. They can be great romantics, great lovers, and come on like great rescuers but underneath all this is a messed up guy who's gonna use you to try to make his own pathetic self feel a little bit better for the moment. This is the pattern. Learn to recognize it and if you get involved with a guy like this, get out as quickly as you can. These guys are Jekyll and Hyde so good at manipulating you that you will end up doubting yourself and blaming yourself for the problems when he's the evil one who's trying to manipulate you by saying you're such a pathetic loser. They love to shift the blame away from themselves and criticize you. It's all about control for them, to control the money, the love, the sex, the social life, etc., all masking a sense of inferiority and insecurity on their part. Extramarital affairs are simply another manifestation of hating women so you're trying to punish them by cheating, in effect hurting your wife while using the one you're sleeping with as a sex object. A lot of women who had poor relationships with their fathers generally repeat this pattern by seeking out men who remind them of this relationship with their fathers. Women who were controlled by strict fathers seek out men to control them so say the psychobablists. A lot of women like drama, danger, or play the role of rescuer which is why they're attracted to defective type guys. It's a big mess of stress, anger, depression, codependency, booze, lack of money, too many kids which all contribute to negative relationships where the players love and hate each other all at the same time. Beware that if your husband abuses you that you don't take this abuse and abuse your kids to relieve some of your frustrations. You can only change yourself. Get out of poison relationships, heal yourself then move on to a better brighter future away from all that negative stuff with these loser type, women hating misogynistic guys or conversely get out of relationships with dumb, superficial babes who think they're all that and want to use you to stroke their egos and get whatever they can out of you. 
Battle of the Sexes? They say there's a battle of the sexes. Many men ask what do women want while women ask what do men want. Each side thinks they are the good ones who give and give and still don't get an equitable return. Many people say they have been trying to figure the opposite sex out their whole lives with nothing to show but confusion. Men and women are human therefore unpredictable. There is no universal answer to who men or women are. You can look at pop culture entertainment and the mainstream media and see the images and caricatures of how men and women are portrayed in their ideals as cool, successful capitalists but this is a lie because most people aren't really like this in day-to-day -day life. It's an image. Who we are in our true natures are not these media slash pop culture people we see on our screens every day. Real life is not this manufactured and glossy. People fit into different demographics that affect how they think. A single guy thinks differently than a married guy. A career woman can't relate to a housewife. A teenager is different from an older dude or dame set in their ways. People are different as individuals but there are commonalities within each gender due, in my opinion, to two major reasons. 1. The genetic spiritual inherent component of our gender. 2 the influences and indoctrination from our culture. There are some things that virtually all people want regardless of gender. It's common sense. They want respect, love, security, and some creature comforts. Here are some other things just about everyone wants. To be understood as an individual. To not be taken for granted. To be happy. To feel sad when the mood hits without having to fake happiness or be judged on it. They want companionship. They want honesty in relationships. They want equitable respect. The fallacy is that whereas we say we want equitable respect, most of us are self-centered and egotistical enough by design I believe to think that we are more special and advanced than the next guy or gal so we generally expect more than we give, more admiration and more special treatment because we each see ourselves as unique, original, cool, nice, fascinating people. I don't really think there's a battle of the sexes. I think there is a battle of individual egos that's often mistaken or displaced as a battle of the sexes. There are assholes and great people in every bunch. Sure we all like to think we're cool and special but the mature ones get past it, rely on themselves, don't need to get ego strokes from others in order to feel good about their lives but I've noticed a subclass of bitches and bastards from both sides of gender equation who have to let the world know they are more advanced and special than everyone else and demand attention and special treatment. If they don't get it, they become the bitches and bastards both sides are known for. People get snappy for all kinds of reasons. It's not related to gender. Some people can't handle the frustrations and stress of daily life that happen to everyone so they take it out on the people around them. It's not a PMS thing or a testosterone thing. These are simply ignorant people. Overall, in my opinion, the reason I think women get in trouble with men is because they think too much. They overanalyze. They have thicker corpus callosums in their brains which means they can process information quicker through both hemispheres. This could help explain why they overthink their relationships with men, why they are three steps ahead in some imaginary situation they created because of something they thought they saw then made a faulty inference from. Guys have the ability to think deep thoughts but most of the time they can't be bothered. They're too involved in other pursuits like work and leisure and are too tired too anyway. They also want simplicity in their lives unlike women who like to complexify things. The genderless warrior says both sides should try to be more like each other. Both sides should heed the following advice. Listen to each other more. Don't just hear with deaf ears. Listen and talk with care and concern. Hug, kiss and touch each other more in a non-sexual, affectionate manner. Fan the flames of romance with constant endearing attention. Be honest. Don't lie. Tell the truth. If you want to play around, get a divorce then play around. The key is respect. People can't stand being disrespected. If you disrespect your mate, what do you expect? Don't blame it on gender. Blame it on your bad behavior. People want stability and order in their lives. 
they want someone they can rely on. Be a helper without trying to control everything to the point that you're anal retentive or a dictator. Love is a bond of trust. Love your partner. Show it every day. Be love. We all want to be happy but we all have a different definition of happiness. Learn how your lover thinks. Listen rather than speak. Love rather than scold. Be dependable. Love each other like you love yourselves. When you love someone and show it, they will reciprocate by showing you love. Women enjoy sexual attention but gentlemen are taught to act non-sexual towards women. Nowadays in the workforce with the threat of sexual harassment looming over everybody, a lot of men do not treat women with any sense that they appreciate their feminine natures and styles. This extends from work to real life. A lot of men are afraid of saying a sexist or sexy thing to a woman. A lot of men will not show natural sexual interest to a woman. The end result is a lot of missed relationships and flings. It's partially the fault of feminism for wanting equality to the point where men cannot be flirty around women. Flirting is not sexual harassment. Most men are not sexual predators. Most women like complimentary flirting attention. There has to be more love and smiles and less criticism against basic human affection. Chapter 2 The Study of Hate Misanthropy slash hate everybody. I hate mankind, for I think myself one of the best of them, and I know how bad I am. Joseph Barity. Misanthropy is a hate of everybody. Misogyny is a hate of women. Some people hate everybody. Some people hate women, men, gays, Jews, blacks, gypsies, or other groups of people. The thing about hate is that most people are politically correct enough to not let their biases and hates out around other people but a lot of people have no great love for their fellow men. Many of us have been used, abused, exploited, and betrayed by our fellow human beings. Is it any wonder there's a stereotype about the cranky old man or bitchy old woman? People just get fed up and decide to minimize contact with other people because they don't need the social contact anymore. It's a pain in the butt to them to socialize and besides, they don't trust anyone anymore anyway. What could you possibly expect if you watch the news every night then all them crime shows? What gets me is all those fake shows called entertainment news shows. They're really shows to give regular people some satisfaction out of seeing our so-called celebrities screw up. They love exploiting tragedy. What about all the poor people? I'm sure they have no love for arrogant rich people. Men who hate women slash misogyny. Misogyny is a hate of women. Anti-woman feelings appear to be almost universal. By misogyny, I mean an unreasonable fear or hatred of women. Men love and hate women simultaneously and in equal measure. Most men need women desperately and most men reject this driving need as both unworthy and dangerous. There seems to be something about being a human male that produces a painful conundrum in relating to and living with women. David D. Gilmore Misogyny, the male malady. Men are hooked on their egos. Every man secretly thinks he's an extra special, advanced guy. A lot of guys don't try to hide it. This is why men fight each other, not just physically but they try to outdo and destroy each other at work. Men don't specifically hate women. The average man is basically brought up to be alone and compete with the world. Why not hate everybody even though you act like you like everybody? Men are angry, jealous, and self-natured by nature. It's not hard to love yourself and stop the love there. A theory of misogyny is that women have sexual power over men. Some women abuse this by playing men and using them. After being used several times, a lot of men start to see all women as selfish bitches. By degrading women as in porn, this gives men some sexual power back. The feminist movement has made a lot of women cold to men, like they expect a man to grovel for them. I still see some great love affairs between men and women. To get love, you have to stop the hate and give love. The average 18-year-old girl has very unrealistic expectations about the great guy she is going to meet and marry. She got this from watching TV all her life which is a fantasy world and reading Teen Queen magazines. 
Girls reject nice guys like crazy until they're about 25 when they realize there are no super guys like they saw on TV. By then, the average guy is jaded about women because he was rejected when asking girls out on a date. Men hate rejection. I still remember those bitches that led me on and played me. I won't be an obedient wimp just for the prospect of maybe getting to have sex with someone. If somebody tries to play me like that, fuck em. There are a lot of girls around who think they got a vagina and I'll do almost anything to fuck it. It's not true. I won't be anyone's bitch. I like friendly women who don't try to use their sexuality to get power over a man but loads of women don't seem to realize that I know that women get lonelier way more than men. They're more desperate for a man than vice versa in general. Some women are cold scheming bitches who use everyone. A view states that Christianity is misogynistic. Eve is looked upon as the evil one between her and Adam. Women are commanded to accept an inferior role. Here are a few misogynistic biblical passages. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands, as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. Ephesians 5 22-23 these redeemed are they which were not defiled with women. Revelation 14 4 How then can man be justified with God? Or how can he be clean that is born of a woman? Job 25 4 Men weren't prosecuted for beating their wives until the last 30 years. If you want a relationship, it is a two-way street. Both sides have to give love. Guys are angry. Girls are bitches. When I come across people, I look to see if there is some gentleness and love or a wise kraken, large and in charge, punky, sarcastic, loud, sitcom type attitude. Porn is a generally misogynist masturbatory tool. I read some articles that say women hate women more than men hate women. I guess it's a competition jealousy thing. All those reality shows on TV with a cast of several women always end up with them at each other's throats. Misogyny is an overused term because we generally don't hate an entire gender. We hate individuals we think are jerks and like the ones who are friendly and nice. Look at some religions like Muslims. They don't even want women to go to school. They want them powerless. If a man who opposes feminism, women say he is misogynistic. Misogyny websites. en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash misogy new york en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash talk colon misogy new york alonelylife.com alphaenista.com slash top hyphen reasons hyphen why hyphen men hyphen hate hyphen women dot html alternet.org slash story slash 11996 slash underscore mystery underscore of underscore misogy new york askmen.com Abu Iseferman.com slash feminism slash the hyphen inflated hyphen definition hyphen of hyphen misogy y New York. Abu Iseferman.com slash misandry slash between hyphen misandry hyphen and hyphen misogy y New York Bible Knowledge Bookstore.com slash item slash rin ck hyphen margaret slash christian hyphen men hyphen who hyphen hate hyphen women slash 54980.html. Blog.iblamethepatriarchy.com Crack.com slash article underscore 19785 underscore 5 hyphen ways hyphen modern hyphen men hyphen are hyphen trained hyphen to hyphen hate hyphen women dot html. Ehow.com slash info underscore 8546071 underscore causes hyphen men hyphen hate hyphen women dot html. Female misogynist dot wordpress dot com slash category slash misogy new york. Feministizine.com slash feminist slash male feminism slash the hyphen origins hyphen causes hyphen of hyphen misogy y new york dot html. Feministlawprofessors.com slash 2012 slash 01 slash gay hyphen men hyphen hate hyphen women. GLBTQ.com slash social hyphen sciences slash misogy y new york dot html. Goodmenproject.com slash men hyphen and hyphen f feminism. Goodreads.com slash quote slash tag slash misogy new york.
heartless-bitches.com slash rant slash nice guys slash misogynewyork.shtml huffingtonpost.com slash linda hyphen hansen slash i hyphen m hyphen woman misagi new york hyphen m underscore b underscore eight four five 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 dot html i blame the patriarchy.com men against assholes and dm isagi new york dot tumblr dot com racial ices dot com reclaim the media dot org slash media underscore justice slash virtual underscore hate underscore crimes underscore miss o g y new york underscore o equal sign five zero eight four reclusive leftist dot com slash two zero zero eight slash zero nine slash one nine slash when hyphen miss o g new york hyphen masquerades hyphen as hyphen f feminism ScienceDaily.com slash article slash m slash misogynewyork.htm SBLcenter.org TheDailyBeast.com, Men Who Hate Women Wellsphere.com slash relationships hyphen sex hyphen article slash more hyphen on hyphen men hyphen who hyphen hate hyphen women hyphen the hyphen misogynist hyphen one hyphen zero seven four hyphen read slash six nine four zero one one wisegeek.com slash what hyphen is hyphen miss ogy new york dot htm miss andrew women who hate men slash androphobia slash reverse sexism it's easy for a woman to be jealous of a man's bigger stronger physical size and the opportunities available to him some women think they're better than men the truth is that there are very few extremes a lot of bitch feminists end up marrying guys they can't hate all guys if they marry one. Maybe that's the problem. They feel unloved so they blame men for their sadness. I read an article that said there is an entire industry around hating men. It's not just feminism. It's female empowerment, independence, vibrators, and romance novels. Misogynists watch naked women in porn movies when they masturbate. Misandrists fantasize about romantic encounters with hunky men so even though they hate men in general, they will love an alpha male stud who is willing to be their servant and lick their clit the way they like it. Misandry Websites Against misandry.blogspot.com Anglobitch.blogspot.com Untimisandry.com Articles about men.com slash category slash gender discrimination slash misandry Autostraddle.com slash helpful hyphen advice hyphen for hyphen talking hyphen to hyphen men hyphen who hyphen think hyphen misandry hyphen is hyphen a hyphen thing hyphen 170632. Abu Isefermen.com slash misandry slash between hyphen misandry hyphen and hyphen miss OGY New York. Abu Isefermen.com slash misandry slash the hyphen psychology hyphen of hyphen hate. Bigfatfeminist.com Crimeandfederalism.com slash 2011 slash 02 slash misandry.html Dadsdivorce.com slash article slash tag slash misandry en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash misandry equal parenting-bc.ca slash issue slash misandry.htm exposing feminism.wordpress.com slash category slash misandry fatherhoodcoalition.org freethoughtblogs.com slash headpat slash 2013 slash 05 slash 13 slash is hyphen misandry hyphen simply hyphen miss ogy new york hyphen in hyphen disguise gnderatic.com ihatemen.org it dash goes dash both dash ways dot tumblr dot com jezebel.com slash tag slash misandry libertarianprepper.com slash misandry hyphen is hyphen there hyphen a hyphen war hyphen on hyphen men manwomanmyth.com slash video slash misandry moscullism.ca slash blog slash category slash misandry mensrights.com slash index.php slash article slash legalizing hyphen misandry hyphen how hyphen it hyphen s hyphen becoming hyphen institutionalized.html Men's Rights Edmonton.com slash misandry. Misandry.us. Misandry-away.blogspot.com. Misandryfeminism.blogspot.nl. My-misandry.tumblr.com. Newdemocracyworld.org slash culture slash misandry.html. Psychologytoday.com. 
queermissandry.tumblr.com rationalwiki.org slash wiki slash missandry returnofkings.com slash 2487 slash missandry hyphen is hyphen real rightwingnews.com slash john hyphen hawkins slash five hyphen ways hyphen women hyphen are hyphen trained hyphen to hyphen hate hyphen men rise of the zetamail.blogspot.com Selfgrowth.com slash article slash misandry underscore the underscore hatred underscore of underscore men underscore as underscore underscore sex dot html. Sexaidmike.wordpress.com slash 2010 slash 11 slash 02 slash feminism hyphen is hyphen not hyphen misandry hyphen seriously. Singleblackmail.org slash 2011 slash 08 slash 02 slash misandry hyphen will hyphen women hyphen ever hyphen admit hyphen they hyphen hate hyphen men. Sometimes I star eat strangers.wordpress.com slash 2013 slash 04 slash 20 slash misandry hyphen and hyphen feminism hyphen just hyphen not hyphen the hyphen same hyphen thing. TheUltimateLight.com slash some hyphen reasons hyphen for hyphen misogy why New York hyphen and hyphen misandry.html. Tumblr.com slash tagged slash Femi Nazi S for misandry. Tumblr.com slash tagged slash misandry. Unknown misandry.blogspot.com. Upstream ca.org slash misogy why New York underscore misandry.html. Videos ift.com slash video slash misandry hyphen men hyphen don hyphen t hyphen exist. Wikigender.org slash index.php slash misandry. Wisegeek.com slash what hyphen is hyphen misandry.htm. YouTube.com. Misandry. Chapter 3. Some of us are antisocial, evil, disgusting slobs, not suitable for a relationship. Difficult Personalities Info In my opinion, the problem with most single people looking for love in our society and not finding it is that they're too self-centered. It's all about what can you do for me, do you fit into what I want rather than the other way around. I'm not suggesting you be a selfless saint but be like Jesus Christ sometimes. Put yourself in the other person's shoes. See it from their point of view. Develop some tolerance, respect, and loving qualities. I've already said in this book that I believe in intuitive vibes. You either feel warmth coming out of someone or you don't. I feel warmth from some girls in North America but I'm sad to say that a lot of girls from Western, capitalist societies have horrible, frivolous, self-centered, pop culture personalities. They think they're all that and can't seem to break out of their self-centered heads long enough to be decent people. It's like a TV commercial I saw for a hair coloring product. The pop star was standing on a pedestal in the middle of it surrounded by her starlets on pedestals around her doing some dance move, smiling seductively at the camera. This is what they brainwash girls to aspire to be, these cold, empty, trendy pop culture flakes standing on a pedestal thinking they're stars. To me, these are people with difficult personalities because they're so self-centered that they don't realize the world doesn't revolve them. Of course, nobody thinks they're self-centered or pompous. Everybody thinks they're nice, sweet people but why do I get a self-centered, cold vibe out of a lot of people I come across? Generally, the more glitter somebody has from the colored hair to the trendy clothes to the red sportska, the less I see them as a good, basic, down-to-earth person. They're putting on some kind of fake image rather than just being themselves. Just think of two basic terms. Do you give off an unassuming vibe that you're a straight arrow just being yourself without pretense? Do you come across as a basically good person with good intentions, not someone who smiles a lot but someone who is very aware of all the pain and suffering in the world and you're not trying to do anything to contribute to it by being a pompous ass? Just about everybody thinks they're basic, solid, good, unassuming straight arrows but why do I feel a lot of callous, self-centered vibes? A lot of these people might look good on the outside, smile a lot and act trendy but if something doesn't go their way, their true colors start to show very quickly. I watch dating shows as part of my research for this book. 
The one thing I notice time and time again is that most people don't realize how self-centered, trivial, and frivolous they are. They think they're good people but an objective outsider sees the true personality. Take a good look into the mirror of your soul. What vibe do you give off underneath that trendy exterior? You're either warm or cold. The trendier you are, the colder you are. Don't see yourself as the center of the universe. See yourself as just another person making time on planet Earth. It's not all about you. See it from the other person's point of view sometimes. Get real. If you keep acting arrogant and think some prince charming is gonna come sweep you off your feet, you had better look at the clock than take another look at yourself. You might think you have good looks but so what? You will age like everybody else. It's very hard to change a cold soul but if you're sincere about it, it could happen and you might bag a good guy then but as far as I'm concerned, all self-centered people are best avoided no matter how good they look. Every arrogant, good-looking person I ever knew is now divorced. They might look good and act cool at the beginning but they can't seem to change their spots. The bitch or the bastard always comes out. Characteristics of a disgusting person Maybe you're disgusting or want to pretend to be disgusting to get rid of someone. Here's how. Tell the guy you're desperate for a husband, kids, and a white picket fence. Nag, 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 nag. Wine, 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 wine. Complain, complain, complain. Criticize, criticize. You may want to avoid meeting people or connecting sexually with someone. The biggest thing is to avoid eye contact as much as possible and take on body language such that you're obviously trying to be as far away from the person as possible by either leaning back or moving your chair away from him or her. They will get the hint soon enough. Secondly, if they force you to talk to them in some way, give a short polite but terse answer implying indifference and distance. Be civil but don't be warm and friendly. If somebody's in your face too much, tell them straight out they're invading your space, you don't want to be around them. If you ever find yourself alone with someone of the opposite sex, recognize it as a potentially sexual event and if you don't want it to progress, lessen the intensity and make it more public. For example, don't close the door, leave it open. Don't put music on, leave it unromantically quiet or turn the news on. Avoid being alone with someone of the opposite sex if you can help it. Don't talk about sexual things. You can be friends but don't cross into potential dangerous things like be alone together or talk about sexy things. If something starts up, startle the other person by saying you can't be doing this, you have to leave and leave quickly. A lot of women get fat for precisely the reason they don't want to be in a relationship for whatever reason. A lot of girls who were sexually abused, raped or heartbroken say they get fat to avoid intimacy with guys. The easiest way to avoid relationships is to look like a scruffy dog and smell like one out in public. Wear a baseball hat as far down in the front as it will go without obstructing your vision and wear dark glasses even inside. Bring up all the sensitive things your boyfriend ever told you about himself in a critical way. Ask him to accompany you to events he hates. Be as unsexy as possible. Don't laugh at his jokes. Roll your eyes. Say I work at an STD clinic. Say can't you see I'm trying to avoid you. Say I'm a TS, a transsexual. Say I don't want to get to know you. Tell him about your troubled past and how messed up you are. Start crying here and there for no apparent reason. Rent stupid movies and make him watch them with you. Borrow money from him. Wear sweats. Bug him when he's busy. Develop an allergy to his pets. Act scatterbrained. Wear his clothes. Spill things on them. Don't clean up. Treat him like a baby. Cook poorly. Crowd him. Don't give him space. Stay out. Don't call him. Act lesbian with your girlfriends. Call his friends and relatives acting like a control freak looking for him. Tell him you want to go for couples therapy. Be serious. Be a liar, 
cheat and hateful person. Holler at him. Start fights. Have cyber sex with strangers. Leave the computer on so he can see. Keep him waiting. Don't pick him up on time. Tell him you don't love him. Act like an elitist slob slash snob. Brag. Be sarcastic. Put him down. Don't call him or call him too much. Fax him. Email him, stalk him. Fake a case of fatal attraction. Constantly ask him where do you stand in the relationship. Tell him you expect an answer either way. Wear a fake wedding ring. Don't dress like a sexy single looking for action. Don't drive a sports car. Don't go overboard on cosmetics and jewelry. Don't hang out in singles places like bars or gyms after 7 o'clock at night. Don't leer at people of the opposite sex with that I need love look. Don't go to parties or other social events. Chapter 4 A Hate Website Guide Hate Websites Alternet.org Angelfire.com slash poetry slash music slash hate Current.com Feminism101.wordpress.com Feministing.com Femmage.livejournal.com Lambithblog.blogspot.com TheFreeDictionary.com slash hate Tolerance.org Why I Hate Fun FAQ.blogspot.com Diversity Hate Websites AACOMAProject.org, AACOMAProject ACLU.org, ACLU AllianceFORBMOC.org, Alliance for Boys and Men of Color ADL.org, Anti-Defamation League, ADL Beam.Community, Black Emotional Mental Health Collective, Beam BlackGirlsSmile.org, Black Girl Smile BlackLivesMatter.com, Black Lives Matter Boris L. Henson Foundation.org, The Boris Lawrence Henson Foundation. Opef.org slash BioMM, Brother, You're on My Mind. A Call to Men.org, A Call to Men. Join Campaign Zero.org, Campaign Zero. CAAAB.org, CAAAB Organizing Asian Communities. Center Racial Justice.org, Center for Racial Justice in Education. RSUonline.ca slash center hyphen for hyphen women hyphen and hyphen trans hyphen people, Center for Women and Trans People, Canada. CivilRightsProject.ukla.edu, Civil Rights Project. CommunitiesAgainstHate.org, Communities Against Hate. DefineAmerican.com, Define America. EmbraceRace.org, Embrace Race. FurYouDCollective.org, Fireweed Collective. From PRIVILGETOPROGRESS.org, From Privilege to Progress. HealingCollectiveTrauma.com, Healing Collective Trauma. HRC.org, Human Rights Campaign. JWI.org, Jewish Women International, JWI. LTYFoundation.org, Lee Thompson Young Foundation. Lionheart.org, The Lionheart Foundation. TheLovelandFoundation.org, Loveland Foundation. Hermana.org, MANA, a national Latina organization. nccc.georgetown.edu slash index.php, National Center for Cultural Competence. ncd.gov, National Council on Disability. NorthNorthEastD.net, National Network to Eliminate Disparities in Behavioral Health. NOMAS.org, National Organization for Men Against Sexism. NativeConnections.org, Native American Connections. OurselvesBlack.com, OurselvesBlack. PreventionInstitute.org, Prevention Institution. RaceForward.org, RaceForward. RacialEquityTools.org slash home, Racial Equity Tools. TheirDroad.org, The Red Road. The Toolkit.wixsite.com slash toolkit, Rochester Racial Justice Toolkit. Stop AAPIHate.org, Stop AAPIHate. 
psychiatry.org slash psychiatrist slash cultural hyphen competency slash education slash stress hyphen and hyphen trauma stress and trauma toolkit for for treating historically marginalized populations nmyhc.si.edu slash learn slash talking hyphen about hyphen race talking about race national museum of african american history and culture tolerance.org teaching tolerance whiteawake.org white awake white nonsense roundup.com white nonsense roundup wocaninc.org women of color network blasphemy laws are hate laws if a religion is loving its country doesn't pass laws to punish people who speak against it countries like pakistan sudan iran and saudi arabia have laws against speaking against the muslim religion this is bad for peace and love it's not human rights or freedom of expression. A list of revisionist history groups at religioustolerance.org slash intrlhate1.htm Barnes Review Foundation for Economic Liberty Barnesreview.org Campaign for Radical Truth in History Revisionisthistory.org Committee for Open Debate on the Holocaust Kodoh.com Friedrich Paul Berg's NaziGassings.com NaziGassings.com Holocaust Histography Project Historiography-Project.com Holocaust Revisionism in English Lightk.ws slash aarg slash English slash English.html Institute for Historical Review IHR.org International Conspiratological Association Conspiratologi.com Noontide Press NoontidePress.com One Third of the Holocaust One Third of the Holocaust.com The Piper Report MikePiperReport.com Reporter's Notebook Reporter's Notebook.com The Revisionist Clarion Reborevi.net Revisionists Revisionists.com the Sheeple Analyst, The Search for Holocaust Evidence The 7thfire.com Theses and Dissertations Press TADP.org Zundelsite Zundelsite.org A list of hate groups according to religioustolerance.org slash intrlhate1.htm gleaned from sblcenter.org Army of God Armyofgod.com Bamboo Delight Company Bamboo-Delight.com Chick Publications Chick.com The French Connection IAMTHewitness.com Hate Crime Streetwear Hate Crime Streetwear.com Kosher Tax Koshertax.com Nigermania.com Nigermania.com This is Zionism This is Zionism.blogspot.com Tony Alamo Christian Ministries Alamo Ministries.com Wake Up America Wake-Up-America.net Radical Politics Articles and Websites at Meta-Religion.com Slash Extremism Slash Index.html and Meta-Religion.com Slash Directory Slash Extremism.htm Extremist Topics are Extremism Islamic Extremism other extremist groups Political extremism War crime sub White extremism Anarchy extremism Articles extremism Black extremism Hispanic extremism Islamic extremism Jewish extremism Political extremism Special interests extremism War crimes extremism White extremism Columbia International Affairs Online Chownet.org slash pub slash ram01.html Conflict and Religion Conflict-religion.boker.tv Intelligence Project SBLcenter.org slash intelligence project slash ip hyphen index.html Extremist Sites and Groups Intelligence Resource Program FAS.org slash IRP slash world slash para List of terrorist organizations 
the International Policy Institute of Counterterrorism. ICT.org.il Groups and some links Naval Postgraduate School Terrorism Library.nps.navy.mil slash home slash terrorism.htm Papers on Terrorism Palestinian Organizations Al-Bab.com slash Arab slash countries slash Palestine slash orgs 3.htm Southeastern Connecticut Gang Activities Group Sagag.org Terrorist and Extremist Groups Terrorism, Questions and Answers TerrorismAnswers.com Slash Groups Terrorism.com TerrorismFiles.org Tolerance.org Tolerance.org Slash Map Slash Hate Slash Index.html U.S. Department of State Patterns of Global Terrorism State.gov Oppressive or Right-Wing Agendas Publici.org slash lnk underscore rit.html